Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy the Cali Texan. Sure. And we're here back with another video for you guys. Say hi Ben. No. Not today, not today. Um, first off, let me show you some fall stuff, some really cute Dollar Tree stuff, and then I have three items I have picked up from the, from the Goodwill. Let's jump right in, all right guys? First off, I'm sure you guys have been seeing other YouTubers um, haul these, but I thought these were so pretty. Ben, what letter is this? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. But it has a B on it. B? B for Ben. B for me? Yeah. Thanks, Mommy. You're welcome. So I did get the big orange pumpkin with the B on it. I'm still looking for an A and an N, but... We, I found the nice white. This looks so farmhouse. And it has the E for Enriquez. Mommy, yeah, mommy. Um, I'm not an Enriquez, but everyone else in this house is. So, you know. Um, here, let's show everybody. So they have the orange with the white. And they have the white one with the E. Bobby's done. Oh, yeah. show them your strawberries. Strawberries. Ben absolutely loves strawberries and they do not last long in this house. So these are so pretty. Like these look like something you find at Hobby Lobby. And I mean, it is like the compressed cardboard wood. This stuff is like not the best, but it looks so pretty. They didn't just stop with the, the monogram pumpkin. They added the buffalo check, which is super in right now. And they also added this leaf applique. What This is so pretty, guys. This is so high-end looking. It does not look like you found it for $1. Mm. Um, the, the orange one has like, I don't know what the scarecrow material is called. You guys know, I'm sure the, the rat tin, is that what it is? But it has like the applique, the leaf. And again, like it does not look like it's for a dollar. And it's huge. Like look how big it is. So Ben, this one's your pumpkin, okay? Yeah, me. Did get one? B for Ben. And Ben, what's this one? Look. We found this. I don't know if this is considered galvanized metal, but it's a metal truck. And it's like indention. It's not flat like the... Everything is raised and like 3D-ish. And it says thankful. They had a red one and it said grateful, but I chose the blue one. It wheels. says, you see the wheels? What's this? Light. The light, the mirrors. What's inside the truck? Pippin. Pumpkins, guys. So the red one said grateful. I did choose the blue one because I love the colors. I like the gray with the blue. Um, I like everything about this pumpkin. I think it was really well made. And again, it does not look like you found it for $1. So you can hang it. It has the, the twine, the cute cord, whatever this thing's called. You could put this in a wreath. You could put it on your front door. You could prop it up on your fireplace, above your fireplace on the mantle. You could put it on your porch. Like, this looks so pretty for $1, guys. What? Okay, this little thing is new, and I thought it was adorable. So, it's this little tin. It has the little handles. And what I see when I look at this, you could do so much stuff. First off, you could put flowers in here. You could put little tiny apples or little pumpkins. You can make a fake pie or a cake or something in there. Um, that little tin tray is so cute. And again, it looks like something from Hobby Lobby, honestly. So they had a different one instead of the, the circle handle, the oval, they had a star cut out right there. So I got that one, that way I can transition and use it different times of the year. But really, that looks so cute. Okay, that was in the crafter square. Next, I also oh, found in the crafter square, and I thought these were so pretty. I've never seen these before. You get four piece from the floral garden, and they're fabric roses. 
So if you look, they're burlap roses. And you can use these for Valentine's Day, for a wedding, um, just for your bathroom to look pretty. So I picked up red and then the pink ones. Let me open them up to show you. Yes. Here. Check it out. Look at my little ten. Watch. Okay, so it's not actually. Are they together? Yeah. Oh, you have more. Oh, okay, so two come pen, like twisted together. It's like the little ties, but you can easily untie them, and you can do this in a wreath. You can make a little bouquet, put them in a little vase, a tear tray. Like these are so so pretty, and you get four in each pack. So take a look. Here's the pink ones, super pretty. These red. even have like a vintage look to them. Let me see the red ones, Ben. More Thank red. you. Mommy, you have more red ones. So, so pretty. Mommy. So again, a dollar and you get four. Like, so pretty, guys. What else, Ben? What else you wanna show? You could play with those. All right, it's just going to be random. I have like a lot of stuff here. I'm just going to start grabbing. I've, I've gotten this before. I don't know if I've ever hauled it. This is perfect for students or for parents, for planning. Um, you could do your bills on that. It goes inside a binder. It has like the three holes. And it is inside like a plastic sleeve. So if you ever need to write something, you can just pull out your little calendar write whatever you need and this is a month calendar starting from august to next year perfect um perfect because kids go back to school in august so you can write like your days off um if you work if you have a job uh you, you can write like your paydays or your bills or doctor's appointments or whatever you need to keep yourself organized you can write it on here and then each sheet just tears right off and then you put it back in the little sleeve and you can keep this always in your binder you don't have to take it out every time so i got blue and it has like stars in the background this is from jot i thought this was super handy and super cool next up i almost didn't get this but then i I grabbed it and I had to get it because I know it's way more than a dollar. And it says this book comes fully stocked with 480 beer cans. That's a whole lot more than you'll find at the corner liquor store. So it's titled Beer, a genuine collection of cans. Let me see if I could take off the sticker. This is a nice thick book. Like This is a cute book. You can leave it on your bar top. Um, you can leave it like, I don't know if you have like a man cave or you can, um, and I was thinking this would be cool to do like DIYs. You can make like, um, like Father's Day cards or you can make like decorations for like your husband's garage or for the man cave or... I don't know. I just thought it was super cool. So it's like, I guess it's, I don't know if it's every beer can made, but it's literally pictures of beer cans. Like you can cut them out. You can do so much cool stuff with this. I thought I had to get it for a dollar. I mean, okay. It says right here, $20 in the U S 1995. So I don't know why I got it, but I just thought it was really cool and I'm sure you can use it for something. Like even the, the little vintage cans, look how cool those look. <laughs> so I grabbed it, I thought it was super cool and it was a dollar and there was only this one. So I was like, okay, well there's only one. So it's meant to be. Okay. All right, I got the kids. This is from Ink. Yeah. It's a brand that's just recently surfaced at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. It is a Greenbrier product though, but I haven't actually seen ink in a while. So ink. And these are side clicks, 
Comfort Grip Refillable Lead Pencils. You get four lead pencils for $1. I remember when I was in school, like, lead pencils were, like, the coolest thing ever. And really, like, only the kids that, like, had money had lead pencils. Everyone else just, like, used the regular pencils. So you were, like, the cool kid if you had a lead pencil. And now you can get four for a dollar. What? So the kids can take that to school. Now I got myself. This is say hi, Ben. No. This is from Jot. It's ten rings. They're called book rings. I know teachers can use these for a lot of things around their classroom, for charts, for I think they're called pocket charts. Um, sometimes they hang stuff on the back of the kid's chair with supplies. Um, or like the sight words, you can put them on a ring for the kids and then they flip through all their cards. Um, these are super handy for teachers especially. But what I got it for, and I hope it works, let me show you real quick. All right, so my planner, this is like my life right here. It has all my bills, it has like the kids events and school days. My dog literally ate it, so I took off the ring because the ring was all busted and coming out. And um, I'm thinking I can place the 10, maybe not all 10, maybe three or five um, of the rings down the side just so I can keep it intact. Because literally right now, I take, I move the cover to the side and then I flip through what page I need and then I, I put them back, I stack them back where, you know, like that. So I'm gonna put the rings just to keep this together. Um, that way I don't have to get a new one because I really like this one. And it has all my important stuff in there. Okay, moving on guys, check this out. I was super excited to find these and I think they are gonna go fast because they're super pretty. Um, Probably not everyone's still on page with the whole red and black buffalo check for Christmas. I still am. I don't know if I'm late to the game or if I'm just really attached to it because I think it's so pretty. So I am doing the red and black buffalo check again for Christmas. Now, they have these bandanas. This is called a bandana. Um, you can always use it for a bandana. It might make really cute pictures for, especially if you do it like around the dog's neck, maybe rock it, we could put one on his neck and take a picture with him. Um, but I was thinking, like check this out. This looks like a napkin. Let me show you. I have my charger plate and look how pretty that looks as a setting, okay? Also, what I was also thinking, um, it could be a placemat. Let me show you. So you can do like a lot of stuff with these and they're only a dollar. Um, I mean, of course you can do DIYs with them. You can like, I don't know, tie it around Frosty's neck if you have a Frosty the snowman, if you make a snowman outside. Let me make a snowman. Hi, guys. And Ben is super happy today. Look, guys, look how pretty this will look as a place setting. Look. You see that? Like, I didn't do it perfect because I have a lot of stuff on the table. But do you see that? Like, look how pretty that would look. Or you can take them. Um, or you can take a few and put them down the middle and make, like, a table runner. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, a mat underneath at your your table you can put it around your tree as a tree skirt or you can set up like your coffee bar and put it underneath your coffee bar with everything like laid on top i just thought they were so pretty and they're so universal like you can do so many things with them for a dollar like i was not playing i grabbed six of them because they're just like you can do so many like whatever your creative mind does wherever it goes you can do it with these and they're gonna go fast. I'm sure they are because I'm not the only one that sees this as a napkin, right? No, okay, well, we'll see. But you could do a pretty plate place setting. You could do your whole table, like I said, a runner. You can decorate your bar area. Um, or, let me see, Ben. You can like, 
you know, do like a cute scarf. This Mama might actually look really mia. cute for Rocket. Oh, for Ben. Oh, hold on, Ben. Okay, show everybody. Oh, I like that for Ben. Okay, guys. I'm yet fall. Is that funny? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, for a dollar, there's so many different things you could do. Whatever your heart desires, but scoop them up because they're going to go fast. And I'm sure if they come out with the white and black checkerboard, same thing, like they're going to go fast. Scoop them up, guys. Yeah, so I grabbed like, I'm not planning, I grabbed six of them. There's like a bunch. This was new. This is called a claw clip. And I like it because it's one of the bigger ones. I have a lot of hair, a lot of thick hair. So sometimes the little ones, they break and, or they plain out, just don't hold my hair. So this is like a nice, I don't even know what material it is. I'm sure it's plastic, but this coating is like a super soft material. And this is just like, like the dusty pink. They had other colors, but let me see. Let me try it out for you guys right now. Let's see. Oh gosh, look at all this. Okay, let's see. Let's try it out. Um, ugh, gosh, it's not gonna work. Nope, it's not gonna. I mean, it's barely hanging in there. Yeah, it, it's not gonna hold. So that's a no for me. That's I'm gonna have to get that away or something. Give it to my niece or my mom or someone. That's not gonna hold my hair. Okay, this is new. I have never seen this at Dollar Tree. It's from the brand Paws First. It's not a Greenbrier product. It's from Anaheim, California. What, what, Anaheim? Where's my angel fans at? And it says 360 degree cleaning, durable rubber, all natural dental chew. So what this is, it's kind of like a toothbrush. It says, I'm confused. I looked up dog toothpaste on Amazon. They sell dog toothpaste. I didn't know dogs had their own toothpaste, but it says just add toothpaste. So I asked the guy, literally asked the guy, like, like, do I add human toothpaste? Do I add dog toothpaste? Like, what kind of toothpaste do I add in here? Excuse me. He had no clue. I had no clue. So I'm like, sorry, silly question. And he's like, it is a silly question, but it's a good question because nowhere on here does it say add dog toothpaste. It all it says is add toothpaste. So I have no clue. But apparently you like fill it in with toothpaste and then, you know, they're doing their thing. They're moving Whoa. it around. They're they're chewing on it. And I guess the little tiny bristles like get in there and they, you know, they brush their teeth with it. And it says durable rubber, so it's not going to just break or, you know, it's going to last them a while. So I thought this was super cool. I'm just curious how much they sell these things at other stores for. Okay, so that's for Rocket. Um, What else? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. This, maybe they're not new. Maybe they are from last year. I have no idea. I think they're new to me, though. These are so, so cute. And they're kind of big. They're kind of big. So I absolutely love the bright orange and white gingham. Um, I think these are so cute. The little stem, I mean, you can paint the stem because it looks, it looks cheap. It looks like plastic, you know? You can paint it, you can pop it off and put like a stick from your backyard. You could poke a real stick in there. But I thought these were so cute. And they also had them in like a bright blue, kind of like, like almost like this Dodger blue color. And they were like blue and white pumpkins, but I, I didn't get those because I didn't want a blue pumpkin. But I mean, they were cute too, but I plan to put these in my bathroom like on top of the toilet or on top of the sink. I think these are so cute. And to, to go with it, they had this little wood shadow box. Now it's already like 
like painted like it's distressed wood. This sometimes the little shadow boxes kind of look cheap. They look like uneven or like not finished. They looked rushed, but this one actually looks pretty well done. And it has the black and white. So you can like leave, to me this already looks pretty. Like I know a lot of people DIYs them to however they can think of and they're creative. But honestly, this doesn't look bad the way it is. I think it looks cute just the way it is. And it says, welcome fall. And it's like this little thin piece, a little wood applique that's like 3D, it pops up. But you can take that out. You can add whatever you want in. If you don't want to keep the the black and white, you can change it, paint it. Um, you can even, if you want to take it out, if you pop that off, I mean, it would make a cute tray. You can use that tray in your bathroom or you can, I mean, in your kitchen, like wherever you want. If you want to use it as a tray, that's also a cute idea as well. Okay, but I think it'll look super cute in the bathroom like this. Let me show you. So like that. On top of the sink or on top of the, the toilet lid. Like, I don't know. I just thought of the bathroom. But even in the kitchen, it could look super cute. And as a tray as well. Because it looks nicely finished. Like, it looks nicely done. Okay, moving on, guys. Moving on. I know these are... Oh, see, I got more more bandanas in there i know these are not new but i haven't seen them at my dollar tree yet and you can stain this wood you can paint it you can white paint it so they're white and distress it whatever you want but this wood frame is pretty on its own but this little metal piece right here like makes the whole frame i promise you you can add a label. You can um, get some of the, the Dollar Tree sticker words and add like a cute phrase. I plan, and I got three of them because I have three kids. So I have some frames that I put out every year with their pumpkin pictures at the pumpkin patch. And these are just gonna be different ones. So I have three of them. And you can add like, like pumpkin patch. Oh, you know what this would be cute too? If you put it like a little sign above it, like my pumpkin patch or meet us at the pumpkin patch or my three little pumpkins, um, whatever you want. But these frames, honestly, like these are very pretty. Very well done, Dollar Tree. Major props. And yeah, this little metal piece makes the whole frame. So that's what I got. They're super cute. And, 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 and. Okay, next up. Baxter Boy Bully Stick Jerky. Now, Rocket's an American bully. I don't know if that's what bully stick means. Like, it's for bullies. Um, the only thing that we love just as much as our pups is treating them well. We're passionate about creating premium quality treats that are naturally healthy for our canine friends all natural high protein premium grade quality and you can find them on instagram and facebook which i will 90 percent beef that is amazing that beef is the first ingredient and it's 90 percent beef right here it says 100 percent beef and then it says 5% beef pizzle, 5% vegetable glycerin. Okay, so let's, let's rock it in here. Come here, Rocket. Come here, boy. Oh, yeah, he ate that thing right up. Okay, so I will look them up and I will let you guys know. But I'm sure this costs more than a dollar because... The packaging is nice. Like, this is a nice package. It's a good size. It's 2.11 ounces. Like, the little dog is cute. The little open window, you can see them. Like, they look like a good quality meat stick. Look at this. Like, this looks like real beef jerky. You see that? They're pretty good size, too. 
Okay, moving on. I got some Fabulousos. Um, I mop. I mop a lot now that we got a puppy. So, you know, I just mop a lot. These are laundry pods. You get ten for a dollar. That's a great deal. I've never tried this, so I'm gonna try it out. But I mean, you get ten for a dollar, so that's cheaper than the Tide pods and all those things. So I'm gonna try them out. I'll let you guys know. It says spring fresh. You get 10 for a dollar. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. I guess that's it from the Dollar Tree. Well, let me move. Oh, no, no, no. It's not it. Okay. These I have tried before. You get 10 dishwasher pads. Pods. These, honestly, they work for me. Like, I know some people may not agree or have their thoughts, but I like these. You get 10 for a dollar, they work just as good as any other dishwasher pod. So, I mean, you get 10. And these work. For me, they work. I like these ones. Um, they don't leave, like a, like, a residue on my dishes. Like, I've never had any issues. And it's called Ultra Shine. These is a repeat buy for me. I picked these up for rocket when i find them um used by june 7th 2022 and they're this super cute they're they're shaped like a coffee cup and they're the peanut butter and jelly flavor latte like i have no issues with these and when i found out that they, they cost way more than a dollar at the stores like i scoop these babies up all day every day whenever i find these there i scoop them up like he's right here waiting for them here you go, Rocket. Let me show you. See, it's super cute. It looks just like a Starbucks coffee cup. Okay, that's all for him. Um, 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 yeah, guys, that's it from Dollar Tree. Now, I did get three things. Nolan liked this one. It is a thermal, so I don't know how hot it's going to be here in October, but it's just like a nice thermal gray with orange stripes. And it's from Cherokee. I think that's Target, right? Cherokee brand. So this was $1.50, I think it was. Um, I'm pre-gaming what we're gonna wear to the pumpkin patch because I wanna be prepared and get cute pictures. This one is um, Children's Place. This is for Benji and it's just a blue an orange long sleeve, super cute. And then it has like, I mean, you could always roll up the sleeves. You can wear it open. You can, I mean, it's super cute. Little boys look so cute in these nice plaid shirts. So I got those two. So these are gonna be like our colors, like orange and blue and gray. Super cute. We're gonna try to get some nice pictures at the pumpkin patch this year. And then maybe if I get them early enough, I can put them in these frames. Okay, one last thing I found for me. I love finding flannels at the Goodwill. So they're like already worn in. Um, and I like the longer ones. This is from, I haven't heard of this brand, maybe you guys have, Eden and Olivia. Eden and Olivia. Okay. And it's black and red and white. What? So it's like the longer ones. It's pretty long. And again, you can roll up the sleeves. You can wear it open. This actually is getting very trendy. If you wear like a long black dress. And then you wear this on top. And you can like, you can tie it up at the bottom. You know, you could tie up the bottom and it's cute to wear open or you can close it and tie it up and they look super cute over like the black dresses or you can like tie it around your waist with a black dress like these are I don't know why they're so cute and they're so universal you could do so many things with this so as you can see through it I see the light shining through it. it's not heavy so it's not gonna be too hot but it's long and it's a long sleeve and it has pockets so super cute and I don't remember how much it cost, but it is super cute, guys. All right, so that's all I grabbed at the Dollar Tree that day. 
I'm not trying to go overboard and spend money every time. I'm just trying to scoop stuff up that I really, really want or that I may need for the house. But that is all, guys. I think I'm going to... Do I have time? Um, No. Okay, guys. That is all. I'm going to finish this video right here. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked all the little things I showed you. Give me a big like. Give me a thumbs up. And... I mean, I did hold my hair, but I feel like... Like, this to me is not holding. Like, that's loose. So, we'll just take that baby down. Um, yeah, guys. Share, like, subscribe. Welcome to the family. All my new people out there. What's up? What's up, guys? I see you coming in. Thank you so much. Thanks for taking time out of your day and sharing it with me. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Happy Friday. And with that, I'll see you on the next weekend. Bye, guys.